So I'm just going to try this out and I want to let you know that I'm not an expert and I just kind of mess around with things. have lithium on my boat for about a year and this guy SY Destiny is, um, is, is a lot smarter than me, I'm sure. And could I make a mistake and not implement it the way that he wants me to? Yes, I haven't talked to him or anything. I'm just showing you my experiment. So uh, I think uh, I'm going to give you this link to the cruisers forum and you can read that. And uh, probably I'm going to warn you not to trust me because I'm not an expert. And I'm just kind of giving you my um, stream of consciousness on this topic because I haven't made up my mind yet what I'm going to do. So we're going to be looking at bi-stable latching relay drivers. And um, there are manufacturers that make these things. Uh, and then uh, they also um, make pre-charge units. And this particular manufacturer has a pretty good reputation. It's REC. And uh, they have documentation on these um, drivers. And usually they're going to, you know, uh, be able to actuate those relays at roughly about 6 amps. Uh, and so we're going to take a, a very low signal from the from the um, from a microprocessor or a BMS and then we're going to be able to put a, a quite a big amount of current and actuate this relay here and that's what we're roughly we have to do a pulse of 20 milliseconds and the rec I think does a hundred millisecond pulse so real quickly at the schematic um, we have a BMS that gets signals from the lipo battery and then sometimes we have another intermediate relay module and then we have the relay driver which will um, actuate this relay here. Um, sometimes we have some other logic that does pre-charge for our loads. But um, so we're going to have to make a decision uh, first of all whether we want one of these relays that are sort of hard to, hard to drive. Um, and do we want to do some, um, you know, DIY or we want to buy um, this, um, this, this uh, relay driver? This experiment, we're going to use passive components to hook to this orange wire here. And um, we're going to also hook an LED to the yellow wire and then have these uh, power wires to be able to give it a pulse um, and the pulse is going to be on the order of uh, 20 milli millisecond I'm going to hook a wire up to the to an LED and that LED is going to uh, be connected to a capacitor a hundred uh, microfarad or 100 microfarad capacitor. I'm going to simulate a wire um, having, you know, a, a you know plus 12, plus 13, um, uh, basically attached to this orange wire, and see, you know, how this behaves. So all it takes is uh, a couple LEDs and a couple capacitors to um, hook up to your BMS and then uh, be able to um, trigger at the triggering on a uh, Blue Seas MLRBS 7700. And the trigger wires um, that we're interested in is this orange wire here. Um, we've got power here and ground. I have it to where the, I've got a yellow, the yellow wire is connected to this yellow LED. So I can um, trigger or untrigger this. Um, so if I, I'm untriggering it and now I'm triggering it. So the yellow, yellow ID, LED's on. I've got a um, breadboard layout here. And this is, so what I've got here is a breadboard inputting um, around 13 volts from a power supply, a bench power supply. I've got a 100 microfarad capacitor and then an LED that's going to bleed off the capacitor. Um, so for the input, um, for my power supply input, 
I um, use a 15 ohm resistor. That's uh, what was sort of called out. And then on the output of this capacitor, I um, hook that to the orange wire. So that's what's happening here. So um, what happens is if I um, power this, when I power this thing up, it's going to send a rush current to this capacitor and then probably for around um, 50 milliseconds it's going to it's going to uh, pulse this line here so we're I'm going to show you that um, so what I'm going to have to do first is enable this green LED and so what's what's going to happen is um, we're going to I'm going to uh, watch watch what happens I depower this LED and it drains the capacitor right and you can see um, this yellow LEDs burning right there so the 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 relay is there pretty much ready to go and then the all the charge is out of this capacitor now I'm going to fire the capacitor okay so it just so you see there's no more LED and um, over here which means that the the um, the ML relay um, just uh, opened up so so what happened here was um, we were on the first channel I was monitoring the input into the capacitor and so what happened was um, I applied you know voltage to the capacitor um, and then what happened is then there was an inrush current this is um, the yellow line I'm actually monitoring the um, output to the capacitor the input to the orange wire on the uh, relay on the um, Blue C's ML um, RBS 7700 relay so what happens is um, the voltage goes up and then um, and then for approximately um, say about 60 milliseconds it um, it it stays uh, all the way up at 7 volts and then it just sort of drops down after that so um, the it looks like the uh, relay the blue C's um, MLRBS relay um, is set for 20 milliseconds if you give it a 20 second pulse it it will um, it, it will fire supposedly this is kind of giving it a probably 70 millisecond pulse um, up, up, up at around 7 volts and um, my power supply is set to about 13.4 uh, and so um, that's what the that's what the trace looks like so you have to hook the LED up though if you don't hook the LED up then the um, then what's going to happen is um, that you won't get this behavior um, the, once the LED, once the capacitor charges uh, fully if you if you um, try to switch um, the, uh, the the orange wire it's not going to fire like this so that's the problem with um, this sort of um, passive component design I think possibly if you you know had things switching on and off and the capacitor wasn't able to drain you might have some trouble so now I'm going to simulate um, something that maybe would be a problem the relay is closed ready to ready to go providing um, you know energy to the to the loads on my boat and um, this wire here is uh, simulating um, possibly a BMS um, signal um, high signal that's going to um, trip right um, so it's going to be tripping on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Um, so 
this this is the problem I think if if the capacitor is not allowed to drain enough right here um, with this LED uh, there's no signal given to the um, there's it, it, you can't really it won't release the relay so let's look at this okay so I, I gave you a little bit of an example where I jiggled it a bit See, let me jiggle it a little more. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. So it's not firing. It The capacitor has to drain, and then it will fire. 